This is number two in the series of IA investigations that have been marked by myself and an IB examiner. This is another low scoring IA and just achieved nine out of 20. The can this is the uh, candidate's mark from the IB examiner and this is the mark I gave it here. Now we, we have similar ideas on it because we've got a 22113, 22113. The title is quite long, but it does cover uh, what was trying to be achieved in the investigation and scored quite low on criteria C and criteria D, which is uh, reflection here and interpretation. All right, and not too highly here either. Okay, okay, so here's a summary of the IB examiner's opinions over here on this investigation, and they're my ones as well. It was written at the top here, which was much appreciated by me, that's for sure. The teacher comments were most helpful, thank you. And Criterion A, now Criterion A is presentation, uh, introduction with a name that is a bit too complex, main body and a conclusion, tables after working for the uh, Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. There are not enough explanations and interpretations to have good coherence and repetition affects concisement. The exploration has an introduction, body and conclusion, some coherence and shows some organisation. There is some repetition and the out of order sequence of diagrams and interpretations does make it a difficult read. Quite similar. Criterion B, that's mathematical uh, communication. Inconsistent levels of accuracy are never discussed, are never discussed. Inconsistent use of upper and lower case variables as well as italics. Good scatter plots and chi-squared tables. Not all variables defined. Math symbols not depicted consistently correctly. Mathematical processes are inconsistently represented with issues of subscripts. Using X and Y in same formula, etc. Approximately uh, equals not used. Over here, the exploration contains some relevant appropriate mathematical communication. There are a number of symbol notation and terminology errors, so that's similar there. C, personal engagement. Some personal connection and a little bit of a student voice conducted their own survey, barely level one. So barely level one, even though it was their own survey. So just doing your own survey doesn't give you an automatic two, obviously. Attempt to create a personal connection in the introduction, but it is not realized in the investigation through creative or novel approaches to reach the aim. That's my comments there. D, reflection, simple explanation of results. There is evidence of limited reflection interpretation of results, but on the whole, there is no sense that each process result moves the investigation to the next process. And my comments and the IB examiner for E, which is use of mathematics, commensurate mathematics with the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient and chi-squared, but limited understanding right from page three. Relevant mathematics commensurate with the level of the course is used. However, there are a number of errors in the mathematics that had a big impact on the results. Limited understanding is demonstrated and we both gave this a 9 out of 20. To make better sense of these comments, it might be a good idea to go through to the end of the video, watch and have a look at the comments from the IB examiner and myself, and then come back to this page here. What does look like a long title does encompass what the student was trying to achieve. Okay, so remember my comments are in the red boxes with the arrows, and the IB examiner's comments are with the checks, crosses, question marks and other notes. Okay, so we start with the introduction. Great, nice background there. I wrote, uh, this is A under presentation. The claims made in the prediction and in the background above needed to be critically analyzed with respect to the aim, which would have resulted in some assumptions being made and noted here. Okay, and the examiner liked those comments. I've got clear aim, that's under presentation. And except for this part here, moving that See, the purpose of this investigation is a great way to start the statement of task. These first two lines here, however, moving this first sentence to the above paragraph would give the aim more impact, and the IB examiner agreed with that. And this question mark is the same question mark that I have uh, implied in this comment here. Uh, here's some comments on the plan of the investigation. The IB examiner liked it. That A refers to the presentation, the criterion A. I wrote here, clear plan, however, create needs clarification. GDC generated, might have been better. Over here, persons, that's a spell mistake there, spelling mistake, and it's a critical one really. So I wrote, this error should have been discovered before submission as it is an important word process. The IB examiner agreed. Here as well, a bit confusing. I wrote needs clarification. The IB examiner put a question mark behind that. Remember, you need to clarify, justify, or support your statements. A, good inclusion. Over the appendix A, it was a good inclusion. You know, the data, that's under presentation. And here, B, okay, 
B, as we know, is the mathematical communication. These reasonably sized tables are included in the body below, so no need to duplicate them in the appendix. So what we'll see soon in this video here will be those, uh, th these tables, but they're also in the appendix. There's no need to have them in both. All right, mathematical investigation is the title. Now we've got the raw data. This is poorly presented. This column here continues here, and it's not good practice when presenting tables. The table does have a title, does have a, title a column, and uh, headings and units, which is good. And apparently I wrote that that is a typo or an error there, females. Okay, this page is highlighting the problem with the order of some of these calculations and presentations of graphs. D, uh, which is uh, interpretation, needs clarification and should also follow the presentation of the graph. So it says we can see there looks to be a slight negative trend, but that's there. And this is the graph here. Graph has a title, axis, labels, and units. That's a good thing. That's in mathematical communication. So the examiner also liked the graph. Uh, here, this is written by the examiner. No reflection on the scatter plot and no reason given for moving on to the R value. Don't forget, you have to, once you do one process, you need to then justify your next process. Uh, that, and you can do that through interpreting that process or reflecting on the process and then moving forward. Here, both with good presentation of formula with defined variables. This is a quite a good example here. We've got the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient formula and nicely presented variables here. Okay, so there's a table below all this. I've written in presentation, the table below should be presented before these calculations, so we'll see that soon. Uh, the examiner agrees with that here too. These results need a more meaningful interpretation. Examiner agrees with that. This is where he talked about in his general comments about approximate equals. Just jump from that to this, uh, through significant figures, but not approximately, none of that written there. Here too, I've put this down here for mathematical communication. This result should have been confirmed by using the GDC for a linear regression analysis. Also incorrect uh, inequality here, wrong number. Okay, here's some comments by me and the IB examiner. I wrote B, mathematical communication. This table has a title with a significant misspelling and no units and undefined variables, no units by the examiner. Put a question mark here, possibly about the way this is presented here, kind of not really in and uh, not aligned well, and but overall it's given a question, he's given it a check. I don't see where, well, it, it, it's, it's given a check because it presented data. But as we said, it's the title's not correct. There's no units and it's misaligned. All right, so here's a comment. If you remember the comments that the IB examiner wrote and I wrote, he's written no context here. There's no context for using this next process. All right, the, the student did write this. Uh, I wrote this interpretation should make reference to the aim to move this exploration forward. It's not just jumping from one process to the next. You must justify the move forward. So the examiner agreed to that. And here, remember this is use of mathematics. So the examiner liked that. Well presented definition and formula again. Okay, this is important when you're doing chi-squared. You need to justify how you got the groupings, how you decide on the categories. I wrote well-presented frequency tables, although how the categories were decided should have been discussed, and the IB examiner agreed with that. This is very nicely presented here. I put it under uh, presentation and also use of mathematics, well-presented and correct. The IB examiner agreed. And here, this is to do with the degrees of freedom. Nice title there too, subtitle. And I put well-presented here, and the IB examiner agreed. So that's a very nice way to present degrees of freedom. Okay, so there's a big mistake here, uh, quite a big mistake. I put it under D, which is um, interpretation, incorrect interpretation. The IB examiner agreed. Incorrect inequality, that's what caused the incorrect interpretation. Okay, so be careful when you're interpreting the results from the chi-squared. A well-presented table here, though, the IB examiner agreed, and this uh, typo here it should have been caught and removed before it was submitted. Okay, this is highlighting some of the repetition that occurred. The IB examiner agrees with my comments here for presentation. Should have done each process at the same time for me, females and males, showing results for both in tables with the calculations for females only to avoid repetition. Student did recognise this to some extent by reducing the number of manual calculations as we go forward and by using the GDC to obtain results. Mathematical communication. The comments noted earlier regarding tables and graphs are relevant going forward too because there's a lot of duplication and duplication of errors. Okay, we have already added comments to a table like this, so look back at the early part of the video. Similarly, with this table and this information here, look at that, another spell miss on Pearson's.
Okay, this is the interpretation of the chi-squared result. Again, use of mathematics. I've written incorrect inequality, confusion surrounding p-value, chi-squared result, significance level, and critical value. And also noted here under mathematical communication, notation errors, and the IB examiner also agrees with that. All right, the examiner has written that they agree with this, uh, the student's writing here about, and that's in the presentation of it. And down here, D is the interpretation and the examiner likes what the student wrote here in regard to interpretation. Okay, my comments here on interpretation. Some meaningful interpretation, although based on misinterpreted chi-square results. However, there is also a lot of repetition and a lot of restating results. The IB examiner agreed. And that's the IB examiner's uh, mark for bibliography. Good.